Okay, so let's define a variant of our previous example. So in this case, we will see how to react at a relative date. So we reuse uh, the previous uh, package and we will just adapt a few information inside. So let's define a new time event. So the procedure is similar to what we have seen in example two. We create the time event. We put a meaningful name on it. So in this case, after 0.5, implicitly unit of times. And it's important to put the is relative tag uh, to true. For the expression, we also use a literal real. And in this case, we will put 0.5. So let's move to the classifier behavior uh, diagram. And uh, we will add, basically, to add a new accept event action to refer to this uh, relative time event. So just renaming the action from the previous model. Creating uh, the accept event action with the appropriate trigger. So we refer now to the after 0.5 time event. And we will adapt a bit the control flows uh, so that the after 0.5 accept event action is scheduled after the previous uh, accept event action. So if everything goes right in the execution, what we should observe is that uh, the system remains blocked until 2.0. And then after another 0.5 uh, time units, it, go it goes forward with the execution. So let's perform a simulation to see what's happened. So when pressing init, the execution starts. Let's step until 2.0 and we will see the reaction. So the system reacts. And for another 0.5, the system reacts. So we are done.